Yo, what's up guys? So today I got a very different video for you guys. My first video that is actually not WoW related. Very interesting. Just preface this with I'm still playing WoW. I'm still going to make videos and stream it. Um, this is just something a little different for me to get into because I am actually truly excited about this game called Lost Ark. And I know a lot of people have been, you know, asking a ton of questions about it because it, it it's a game that has been out for quite a, for like three years or so now in uh, other countries, but it's coming out for NA and EU uh, this fall. So this is the Russian version that I've been playing on my stream and whatnot. And you can access the Russian version if you go uh, to look at two videos on how to access it. You should have a VPN and a, a translation patch, uh, which is super easy to download. Um, and then the beta is supposed to come out soon. In US, you could buy like a founder's pack for it or whatever if you feel like paying, but the game is free to play. So if you do just want to wait for it to come out, it is free. Uh, it comes out in the fall. So I just want to give you guys my first impressions of this game coming from somebody who truly just plays WoW Arena. Like that's all I care about is PvP in WoW. Um, I don't care about questing or dungeons or lore or raiding. Um, so I'm going to give you, so just so you guys know where I'm coming from when I give my impressions on this game, my intentions are to strictly just PVP uh, and not really care about anything else. Um, but I've actually been given more than I thought I was going to get. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought it was. Let's say that the, the leveling process, at least, because I was just hoping to PVP and whatnot. But so um, my first part to the video of this game is that the game is freaking cool. Like, dude. I need that, need that in quotations to put on the box by, you know, quote by markers. It's freaking cool. The combat is absolutely spectacular. Um, you know, the animations, the movements, it's smooth as hell. Um, and it's it, it's honestly just blown me away. How much you can do with this game is, it, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, the, uh, the questing itself and leveling is, eh, I'm not like super, like it's not anything like super crazy, but the, the, the the combat and the dungeons so this is actually a dungeon here that you're seeing um that i uh, that i did this is probably my favorite dungeon that i've done it was like some castle siege thing where you storm the storm the castle like straight out of lord of the rings and it was so much freaking fun um like this is a, it's like a, one of the mini bosses i think so like you can see like kind of the mechanics that are in within like the bosses and stuff and uh yeah, I'm just having so much fun playing it. I'm currently like level 35 or 37 or something like that. I need to get to level 50. So you have to get to level 50 before you can actually PvP, which is probably the one bad thing I'm going to say about the game is that you can't you can't PvP until level 50, which is like the max level or 60 might be the max level. I don't know. 50, would, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I think it's level 50 before you PvP, whatever. Um, and that's like the one downside I'll say to this game so far. Everything else, I'm actually just, it's just amazing. It's such a refresher. Um, of a game compared to playing WoW. And something I, I, we were talking about on my stream actually yesterday that maybe why I'm enjoying it so much is the game is not that similar to WoW because people always try to find the new MMO that's gonna, you know, the WoW killer, uh, like the, the I don't even know, the Aeons, the Final Fantasies, the, what other, I don't even know what other games. Uh, but anyway, games that are like very similar to WoW, like where you quest, you do this, you do that, it looks exactly the same, but it's never as good as WoW. This game is not really like WoW. The only thing that's similar to WoW in this game is that you have you have are you have some arena, you got uh, questing and stuff. But you know the view is different, the combat's different, the there's skill shots, there's um, it's just it's so different in so many ways. I think it's like a refreshing take on the game or gaming it for me in general because you know I've just been someone who's been stuck on WoW and I never could find a game that I got into outside of it. Um, so yeah, the, I just. Been having an absolute blast playing this game and um i hope you guys enjoy i would i would rec highly recommend giving it a shot even if you don't try the russian version or the beta definitely give it a shot on, on release uh so let me get, i just want to show you guys really quick um what what you kind of got, got to get into so each when you uh when you make a character i don't open here so when you make a character in this game you're gonna your first character you're gonna be able to choose from these starting five classes you have a warrior. They're, the names are slightly different on the Russian version for some reason. The noise is coming from. I don't know where these noises are coming from. Sorry, I'm kind of confused. Okay, anyway. Um, you have five base classes you choose from, and then each base class has subclasses. So you choose your base class, 
Um, you will, uh, you'll have a prologue, which you can skip in the Russian version, but you probably won't, I'm, I'm assuming you won't be able to skip in the in NA release. Um, you, you do this prologue, which is levels 1 through, uh, 1 through 10. And then at level 10, you, you're kind of split and you're asked to choose which one of these you want to pick. So I'll give you guys an example here. So this is a hunter, I believe. And then this is the test area. At level 10, you get to this area here and it tells you to pick which one you want to pick. And you can test them out before you choose. So let's say I want to play, uh, uh, well, Scouter won't be in the game. That's just, you know. So let's say I want to pick Hawkeye. It gives you, you know, you can look at the preview. You can look at, you know, the, the basic info here. And then you can test the class out. And then they give you all, they give you a bunch of abilities to have. And you can like summon monsters and test shit out. You know, you know, I can, I, I can see what all these abilities do. I don't really know anything about this class. I'm just pressing, pressing buttons on here. But yeah, basically you can just kind of test shit out for fun. See which class seems kind of fun to you. This class is like a, a it looks like a, it's like a hybrid melee. Um, I think it's like a hybrid melee hunter ranged melee hybrid. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of, and then you can, you know, you can summon a boss, you can change your class, you go and check out the other ones, um, and you can kind of test them all, pick which one you want. And then once you're done, you can select which character you want, which one you want to choose. So that was something that was super cool. And every character, after you do the prologue once, every character, new character you make will start at level 10 in this area. So you can test out literally every single class in the game before you choose. Because once you choose, that's your class and you had to level with that one. You can't change your subclass ever again. Um, so some, that was something that was super cool about this. I, I truly don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know where this, these noise are coming from. What's coming from there? Um, I'll throw this back up here while I'm talking. And so you choose between the classes you want to pick. And then there's one more thing I wanted to add into this game. So let me I log, log into the character I've been playing. There's one more thing I really want I wanted to add that was something that really appealed to me coming from WoW is the customization of your of your abilities. That's something that WoW fell off on huge. You lost your talent trees, you don't have a forge, you don't have glyphs, you don't have you know art uh, not artifact, uh, like Azerite traits and stuff like that. Basically, you lost like all your customization. The customization in, when it comes to skills in this game is absolutely phenomenal. So you have right here, you have a base of eight abilities you can put on your bars. You can choose which eight that you have more than eight abilities. These are all the abilities I have at the moment. I have a, a buttload and you can choose which ones you want to pick. And there's different builds. Like there's some abilities that are more, um, there's some gap closers, some mobility abilities. Um, there's ranged one well, from this class specific. I'm playing, this is the demonic or shadow hunter is going to be called in NA. You have, you know, close range abilities. You have combo abilities, uh, AOE ones. Uh, ranged ones, uh, yeah, basically those, you have a ton of different stuff and you can kind of pick and choose which ones you want to use out of the eight. And then furthermore, you get skill points as you level. So currently I have 142. Um, I think every level you get like six, five or five or six, five, I think. Um, and then as you level them up, you can actually, you can pick which ability you want to strengthen. So like, for example, this crack blade ability, this is one that I ended up leveling up because it was a cool ability. And then you get these things called tripods. These are like tiers. Like I call like tier one, tier two, tier three. I don't know what people are supposed to call it, but that's what I've been calling it. So as you put points in, you point if you put um, if you put four points into the ability, you get the first rank, and then twenty points in, you get the second rank, and then if you put forty eight points, which is a lot, you get the third tier, and then that's like the big ability. So all of these modify your ability. Like for example, on this cracked blade one, I have this that increases my crit chance of it. Um, this makes the ability ordinary, which makes it's not a combo ability anymore. And increase the total damage and then the last one um accumulates chaos energy which is like my my ultimate form generation kind of thing so you can kind of pick which abilities and you know what the best part is guys you know what the best part is you can respect this stuff whenever you freaking want you don't have to hearth pay gold to respect you know you level you you level up an ability here and you're like ah. let's say i got to this one i got to the second tier and i'm like not feeling this one or you know maybe i just want to try this one maybe i want to try this one maybe i don't want to try this ability all at all let me get rid of these points let me put it into this one you could do it whenever you want it's so cool and uh you can kind of make you know make it your own you can pick you want to be more of a range type you want to take all the range abilities and put them into one and then buff all those up you can do that you can pick a 
all the combo abilities and put them all together so you just ultimate comboing. You could do whatever the heck you want to do, and that's like absolutely amazing for me to to uh to play. And it's probably my favorite thing that I've seen so far in this game because I'm so excited to just test things out. There are like builds, like there's websites um that you know I think this is like they actually have something in the game where they have like the most popular builds and stuff like that. And there's tons of stuff online you can check out, like PvP and arena, uh what people do. You can copy people or you can make stuff up on your own. Do whatever you want. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I changed. I should probably go back to what I did. Okay, I had this one up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... It is absolutely so much fun to play. And um, I highly recommend playing it. Anyone is uh, is interested in playing it. Um, last thing I wanted to get on was the... The pay to win, okay? So a lot of people come into my chat and say, Oh, you play pay to win game, idiot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there is a, uh, a pretty large cash shop in the game, and you can buy things to advance you in PvE, okay? Like I said, I am only playing this game for the arena, the PvP, so I don't give a dang, because PvP is equalized. You cannot pay to win in PvP. Everybody has the same skill points. Um, and whatnot, you can't pay to win in anything. But everything, if you do care about that side of things, it is pay to win in the sense that you can buy these crystals to like buy um, gear and whatnot. But you can also obtain these things naturally in the game. So at the highest level, it's not really pay to win because everyone should have the best gear anyway. Whether you obtain it, uh, you obtain it naturally or you buy it. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's for the pay to win aspect of it. If you care about the rating and the PvE stuff, yeah, it's kind of pay to win. Uh, but if you care about PvP, there you cannot get any advantage by swiping your cards. So if that's what you're interested in, which I would assume a lot of my viewers are interested in, you got nothing to worry about in that sense. So um, yeah, that's my my final thoughts. Really, really fun game combat wise. The dungeons are amazing to play. So I would definitely recommend leveling through, and you kind of learn a lot while you're leveling about the abilities and whatnot. It looks amazing, and um, and uh, yeah, so I would recommend trying it out, especially coming from someone who's done WoW PvP and whatnot, to uh, to give it a shot, and uh, whether it's the rough conversion or when it comes out, actually, and then I'm going to make a follow-up video when I do get to lack max level, which should be soon, maybe in the next few days, um, and then I'll review PvP from when I, uh, from my experiences, because I haven't really got that. Uh, but, yep, I think that's it. Sorry, that was kind of all over the place, but I appreciate you guys watching if you're still here. And if you guys have any questions about this game, I, I'm not, like, an expert on it, but I have learned quite a bit from my stream and from people in, like, my chat and whatnot. So if you do have questions, I will try my best to answer them. Especially if, like, you know, it comes to, like, access in the game or, like, super basic stuff like classes and, uh, like, how it is leveling and whatnot. Something, something that I would know from leveling. Uh, or the combat systems but yeah drop a question if you got one make sure you like the video if you do like this if you guys do want to see more of lost ark i'm still gonna be doing wow but yep thank you guys so much for watching hopefully see you in the next one peace out